friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a recipe that is my, one of my personal favorites, a chicken tortilla soup. I absolutely love the flavor and the combination of textures of the crunchy tortilla chips and then the fresh lime and the avocado and all of that. I'd like to thank Kasori, who is my product sponsor for this video. They reached out to me to send me a pressure cooker and I was so excited because I've been wanting a pressure cooker for a little while now and I thought it was going to be maybe something to invest in down the road and so I was so um, just blessed and excited to receive this pressure cooker to to try out and to share with you some uh, some tips and recipes so we're gonna go ahead and get right started to the recipe so you're going to need one diced onion one can of tomato paste two cloves of garlic and for our spices we're gonna keep it simple with half a teaspoon of salt one packet of taco seasoning two teaspoons of chili powder and then finally one tablespoon of cumin. Now you can saute your chicken, your one to two pounds of chicken, in your pressure cooker on the saute function before you do the next step I'm going to share with you but I've decided to do it in my skillet that way I can save on time. I'll have my chicken cooking in my skillet while I'm making up that delicious broth and soup. So we're going to need four cups of chicken broth and two cups of vegetable broth for our base and then you're going to add in all of the ingredients that I mentioned before and at this point you can also add in some of my favorite ingredients to have in a chicken tortilla soup such as corn or black beans, a green bell pepper, diced tomatoes, a jalapeno. And now we're going to give it a really good stir. We're going to lock the lid, make sure we hear that it's locked completely and check the steam release valve and make sure that is set to lock. We don't want any steam coming out or liquid to be shooting out and we're going to set the soup function and we're going to lower that to the lowest level and that's going to pressurize and get to the right temperature, right pressure and then it's going to set a cook time and then after the timer goes off of that we're going to do a quick release make sure that you're safe with an oven mitt or you can even use a spoon to do that. After removing the lid go ahead and push that saute function. And at this point we're going to add in some fresh lime juice, half a lime. We're also going to add in that cooked chicken. Then we'll give it a good stir and let it sit for about five more minutes. And here we have it and it smells so good. I wish you could smell this right now. And the thing about tortilla soup, I love the fresh lime paired with avocado and the cilantro. And I also like to add Monterey Jack cheese if I have it on hand. This is such a delicious soup. You can add some more lime if you like a little more tang. This is also a great soup for hosting, having people over. It's so fun because you can customize it just the way you like. Kasori is having a flash one day sale today. So if you've had your eye on getting a pressure cooker, I would suggest maybe checking out their listing on Amazon. I was really curious to see how Kasori compared to some of the leading pressure cookers. And all of the reviews that I've seen, all of the video reviews that I've seen even here on YouTube, say that it works just like the, some of the leading brands. And then also they say that there are some extra features that they really like. Some of them are the presets. There's quite a few presets on here and the accessories. With the Kasori pressure cooker, you do get this really nice glass lid that goes on top for a prettier display if you take this maybe to some sort of a potluck or you have people over. So it's nice to have this glass lid. This is also nice if you want to cook popcorn in here. You can have your glass lid for that. And then it also comes with an extra one of these, I think it's a silver silicone ring so these can get a little bit I guess funky depending on what you cook in your pressure cooker so it's nice that you have an extra one and then you also get uh, little accessories like this a steam rack and then they send you a nice recipe book to help you get started with cooking in your kasori. So there's a variety of items in here, like some desserts, popcorn, uh, different stews and soups. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed joining me in this video today. Don't forget to check out that flash sale if you've been interested in buying a pressure cooker. This is a significant savings and it's already a pretty decent price. This brand of pressure cooker, but with the flash sale, it'll be even more of a savings opportunity for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you like recipe videos, if you want to see more like this one, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and that will let me know. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.